In this tutorial, we'll be covering how to serve HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files from a Flask application. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a solid understanding of how to create a Flask website that uses HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to create an interactive and engaging user experience. Let's get started! The first step in adding HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files to a Flask website is to create a Flask application. This can be done by creating a new directory for your project and then creating a new file called app.py within that directory. In this code, we've imported the Flask module and created a new Flask application. The name variable is used to determine the name of the current module, and it's passed as an argument to the Flask constructor when creating the application. Next, we'll create two new folders within our project directory, a templates folder, and a static folder. The templates folder will be used to store our HTML files, while the static folder will be used to store our images, CSS, and JavaScript files. With our templates folder created, we can now add a root to our Flask application that will serve our HTML files. To do this, we'll use the render template method, which is part of Flask's Flask module. This method takes the name of the HTML file that you want to serve as an argument, and then it returns it to the client. In this code, we've added a new root to our Flask application that will serve the index.html file when the client visits the root URL of our website. The render template method takes the name of the HTML file as an argument and then returns it to the client. With your images, CSS, and JavaScript files stored in your static folder, the final step is to link to these files in your HTML files. To do this, the href and source attributes for all files must use the URL for function to get the URL for the static folder and the file name. Now with our Flask application and root setup, we are ready to run our website and start serving HTML files. To do this, simply type the command flask run in your terminal or command prompt. And that's it! Your Flask website is now serving HTML files, and you're ready to start building your web application. Whether you're building a simple portfolio website or a complex web application, Flask makes it easy to get started and get your ideas off the ground. You can access my code for this website on GitHub, and there's also a link to this repo in the description. You can learn more about this topic in my Tech Career newsletter. This newsletter will give you insight into multiple stages of your career so that you can form your career plan, overcome learning blockers, and stay competitive in today's crowded job market. You'll get featured content from authors and influencers in my network to help you navigate your career and learn new skills. Visit hofstech.com newsletter to subscribe and set yourself up for career success. What questions do you have about Python and Flask? Let me know in the comments and please be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day!